this the crude oil is generally heated and that crude oil that heated crude oil is sent to a distillation unit okay and what it does here is there are some products which are with a lower boiling point that means when you heat the crude oil okay so there will be some products of it or some byproducts of it which we get it at a very lower uh, boiling range that means if you see here it, if it is if the product when, when the crude oil is heated when it just reaches or when it, when it just nears out the 85 degrees fahrenheit okay that is nothing but the low boiling point the byproducts from the crude oil are butane and lighter products okay so there will be different layers that the crude will be subjected for example the crude will be subjected from bottom and depending upon because obviously the gases will be found out i mean the gas what what we do generally the gas we always find it at the higher level correct and it's easily movable so generally whenever we have gas it always finds out at the higher point of the or the top point of the distillation uh, unit okay so that's why you find always gases at the top and next the the next level of that is gasoline blending components the next level of it is naphtha okay and at this temperature after rising the temperature to this level okay you will you will get the kerosene and jet fuel and at 450 to 650 degrees fahrenheit you will be able to get the distillates like diesel or heating oil and at 650 to 1050 fahrenheit heavy gas oil and above 1050 it is called as a residual fuel oil this is nothing but the black thick list viscous liquid which is then converted into bitumen or that kind of stuff in order to use it for our uh, laying the roads okay so this is how like when the crude is subjected to temperature okay when it is heated at a different temperatures we get these by products so it is not like only 1000 liters of crude will get only one product it is not like that when depending upon the quality of the crude depending upon the impurities of the crude depending upon whether it is a sweet or light or sour or heavy okay these are the different by products that we will get okay some by products might not be available depending upon the uh, the, the quality of the crude okay so if you just a uh, little talk in a technicality of the refinery thing okay so we call it as there are still after the distillation tower okay in order to get this gasoline there are still some more process which happen it is called as a reforming process there will be some cracking units and some alkylation units and some cokers which are used in order to get the asphalt okay for example if you see from the coker you get the industrial fuel and asphalt and from these cracking units so what is the input for these cracking units so from the crude oil you get the gas oil and the heavy gas oil and these heavy gas oil and gas oil are still cracked cracked means it is still uh, they are subjected to some catalyst and after that you get this motor gasoline jet fuel and diesel fuel similarly if you want to get the lpg and gasoline that product is again so if you see here we have naphtha and after naphtha is subjected to reformer we get gasoline okay and here also from the gas oil you still refine it and after the refining it you still refine it and you get again lpg and gasoline so if you see here we have lpg here and again we have lpg and gasoline here so when the crude oil is subjected to temperatures we get lpg because at the lower temperatures it we get the vapors okay and immediately we get the naphtha also and we get the gasoline also sometimes depending upon the product but still at higher temperatures we get gas oil that gas oil can still be break broken into still some by products which will give us again lpg and gasoline that is nothing but you are just cleaning the impurities again from these and you are still trying to get some by products okay so these are the different uh, by products that we get depending upon the different temperatures the crude oil is subjected to in the distillation unit okay now is it clear how the crude oil will be converted into different by products yes and uh, just for some basic question lpg and gasoline are not same gasoline is nothing but petrol lpg is liquefied petroleum gas oh. okay yeah. okay okay sorry i was so just generally, uh, checking that uh, no, no, gasoline no, no, there no. is a petrol and coming so no no, gasoline no it is, is nothing but petrol 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 and it is also called as mo gas motor gas also 
Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm surprising why petrol is not mentioned over here. So yeah, yeah. Because in yeah. in uh, other countries uh, they call it as gasoline. They don't call it as petrol. Especially in 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 the Asia region, only we use this word uh, petrol. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah.